And this is the men and women's 15 lap, men's 20 lap mass start event at the Pitta National Ice Center on December 18th, 2011. Looks like we had a false start. Too many smiles out there today. I'm a little confused what to do. All right, again, the woman will be doing 15 laps, and the men will be doing 20 laps in this first ever event at the Pettit Mass Start event. So we've got 14 total skaters started for this one. We'll this is the conclusion the of the United the States 2012 here. Long Track Championships. That is a complete start. We are off the 2012 U.S. Speed Skating Championships Mass Start. I hope I'm not the only one that's nervous for this. It's going to be a huge we file. We did plan to have a speed skating officials mass start right after the race after this, but not too many of those like signed up, so hopefully maybe in 2013 we can have an officials mass start. That's one that I'd like to see. One lap down in Max Hollywood Nixon is in the lead. We call him Hollywood because he was in a commercial earlier this year for Samsung. If you haven't seen it, check out the Pettit's Facebook page. It's actually entertaining to see Matt run on the ice. No surprise to this announcer, Jonathan Cook, out leading the pack right now at the end of two races. We do have the champion from the first American Cup in Roseville, that was Alex Arkowitz, who took first place in the mass start in Roseville. Jonathan Cook took a second place in an ISU competition in Finishing up on the third lap, that's the jackhammer, Charlie Stangle getting tested by Osh. Skaters will trade off leading the pack for the first few laps, but as we climb closer to lap 15 for the ladies and lap 20 for the men, they're not going to be so kind to let people pass each other. They're taking stuff, like results, signed results from the protocols and that. I don't you'll notice too there is no clock for this race because they say whoever just completes those 15 to 20 laps first. Finish up the fourth lap, picking up a little more speed. What you see now is called commonly called a train of skaters. It's a common occurrence here at the Pet Center and other long track skating track. That's how these skaters Train together in a tree. Jonathan Cook, Josh Oldwood, and Alex Akowitz in that order. And I think for the gals, we've got Jillian Rooker out in the lead for the ladies. Coming out, we go 13 more left for the men, 18 
for the ladies. Chase Reitman now, middle lead, opening up above the two meter lead. The next leader behind Chase is Jillian Rooker. Jill, of course, now the leader of the ladies mass start competition. Now it's Jillian Rooker and Maria Lamb out front, following closely by Nancy Swider Pels. We wish all the skaters the best of luck. This will be the last time we see the elite level skaters here at the Pettit Center coming up in February. We'll have junior championships and skaters that are just a little bit younger. But most of these skaters will go on to skate on the ISU World Cup circuit as well as other competitions that are around the world. Six laps to go for the ladies, 11 for the men. Maria Lamb is still out front for the women. Mitch Whitmore now taking over for the men. No, I was reffing. I wish I could have. I got his thousands. Be safe. Just about halfway home now. Miss Woodmore carrying it from the crowd. Ladies will slide over to the 
yellow more of a lane, and then now we'll just be the men. Alex Akowitz up in front. Four laps to go, just four measly laps to go, and we'll close the books on the last domestic championship. We've got another drop off. That's the champ driver, Charlie Stangle. So dead legs after a sound read for the jet camera. Thank you, coaches. 